Hi, this is Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere and the Exam Scam Certification Series. Also the webmaster of PulpJava.com along with ExamScam.com. Um, so I urge you, come to my website and buy a couple of books off me. One of the things I wanted to demonstrate right now is just the idea of creating a Java bean. And I have a, a couple of servlets on the go right now. What I'd actually like to do is I'd actually like to create a handsome and salacious little java bean in the common package. And it's just going to be a simple timer. It's all it's going to be. Now, the java bean specification says a couple of things. Um, one thing it says is that all of your different classes should implement the serializable interface. That's the breakfast interface. Um, it means that you can have your java beans uh, over milk uh, for breakfast, serializable. Um, it also says that every java bean should have a default constructor. And uh, who am I to argue with the uh, java bean specification? Now the idea of my timer here is it's basically going to keep track of how long, say, how long it's been since the timer's been started. So it'll have a, a long value that is the start time. And the start time will get initialized once somebody creates a timer. Um, well, actually, no, it won't. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to actually say that in order to initialize that start time, someone's also going to have to call the start method. And in that start method, what we'll do is we'll take that start time and initialize it to system current time millis, which is a huge long, which represents the current time based, I think, upon January 1st, 1970 or something like that. Uh, it's the way I keep track of time. All the time now. Um, all the time. Anyways, what else do we need here? Um, perhaps we'll have uh, a public um, long method called getStartTime, perhaps, which uh, will return start time. And uh, maybe even a public long get elapse time which will do a little higher calculus here. I don't mean to scare anybody, um, but essentially what we'll do is we'll return the um, system.currentTimeMillies minus start time. And uh, with a little um, higher calculus there, um, we'll figure out how long time it's been, how long it's been since the time was started. Um, who knows? Maybe even we'll have a, a reset button. So public public void reset. And what will this do? Will this uh, reset the method to the time where it was originally started, or reset it to zero? I think it would be setting it to the time it was started. And we'll say system dot current time. So anyways, that is just an incredibly handsome Java bean. Um, you'll see that it implements the breakfast interface, serializable. It has an instance variable. Um, that instance variable probably should actually be private, um, because we like to make our instance variables private and only expose them through public setters and getters. Um, and there we go. So this is very good. There is no public setter, um, so we could say that this is perhaps just a a read-only property, get start time, just a getter. Um, so make our instance variables private, expose them through the public setters and getters. As we say in Java, we don't expose our privates. Um, and essentially, it is just a very handsome Java bean. Implement serializable, has a default constructor, no argument constructor, and uh, as I said, overall, it looks very good. I think the next tutorial, probably have to create a JUnit test to make sure that it works properly. Um, but anyways, that's it for now. That's how you can create just a simple Java bean. As I said, please pick up a copy of What is WebSphere or take a look at some of my SCGA certification guides. I know the Sun Certified Java uh, Associate certification guide is a real hot seller. And of course, the portal and application developer and application server exam scam guides are great too. Please buy them off my website. We always keep them in stock and we send them out the very next day so you get them as fast as possible. Um, you can also order them on Amazon. Thank you very much.